When I say bananas, you say peppers. And if my skin looks a little red, I did an experimental face mask today. So that video is coming up soon. My eyes are itchy. My skin is a little bit itchy. You guys, I said last week I was gonna like redo this little corner cabinet. Still haven't done it yet. What am I waiting for? I wanted to light a candle, but I just don't think, I don't think I should, you know? Uh, anyway, today is a very, very exciting day because I finally was able to get my little hands on the mini brands fashion balls. So these are a brand new type of five surprise mini brands and these are going to be fashion related items. So it says 40 plus real fabric fashion bags and accessories to collect and I'm actually like pretty excited for these because these are like kind of interesting and different to me because this is the first mini brands I've opened where I don't think that it is like a direct collab with brands. You know what I mean? Like mini brands are tiny real versions of items that you can buy in the grocery store. Toy mini brands, you know, are like miniatures of real toys that you can buy in the store. The bags that are in here from what I've seen on like TikTok and Instagram and stuff, they look inspired by real designer brand bags. Like the one that is sticking out in my head is the one that looks like, I think it's technically called Lady Dior. <laughs> and I think I've also seen Balenciaga inspired bags. These I was able to get from Target and I have five of them today because I honestly like didn't know like how much I you know I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna like these as much as the ones that are like official tiny miniature things. I might like them more. Who knows? I do love fashion but I feel like it's fun to me when you can have like a mini and a real size thing and they're both like real. I don't know. I don't know. Also though, I did see somebody, I don't know if it's real or fake, but they were acting like you get real miniature makeup brushes and stuff in here. Like real lip glosses. So then I would like it a whole lot more. Anyway, anyway, uh, I also do see now that it says that these outer wrappers and stuff are made of recycled plastic. These are like the lightest mini brand balls that I have ever gotten. Like maybe this one's a little bit heavier, but like this literally feels like it's like filled with nothing. Have you guys been able to get these yet or not? I am excited. I'm always excited for mini brands. Also, I'm just now noticing that's so weird. It's like five surprises are inside, but it's like just one egg. Y'all, I just had a moment. Also, this is interesting. Is this gonna be like how it is now? These are like paper. It's like a waxy kind of coated paper. I don't know which one I'm supposed to open first. Let's open the flatter one and see. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I think maybe I just don't know every brand that's out there because this is supposed to be a bottle of perfume. If you guys know, what brands these are like replicating, let me know. Give me a timestamp and tell me in the comments down below. But look at how awesome this is. So it's like a crystal perfume bottle and look at that. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna be obsessed with these. So this is the next thing that we got and it looks like it opens up. I don't know if this is meant to be a phone? Oh, it's a makeup palette! Oh my gosh. You guys, I've always said that they should do like a beauty five surprise mini brands, but I think it would be like really fun. And I feel like you could get the makeup brands and like the makeup community to do like a, an official like mini brands collaboration. I just don't know if you could get like Dior to do a mini brands collaboration. And then this is the last thing. Dare I say this is a lipstick and it all has a tiny MF stamped on the top of it. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. It does feel like it opens. Oh my gosh. Look at this tiny little red lipstick. Okay, so people are pretending like it has real product in it on TikTok, but it doesn't. 
<laughs> how crazy would that be oh my god you guys that is where my love of red lipstick was born was because i wanted to look like catwoman and my mom used to have all kinds of friends at work that sold avon avon used to give like sample well i don't know if they had to pay for it or they like gave them sample anyway if you had a friend that was selling Avon, they would give you these tiny little itty bitty lipsticks that were basically you like good for like one or two applications and you could like request shades. And my mom got for me the tiny little, it was like Catwoman red and I wore that all the time. And like if I did good at school or whatever, she would buy me like the full size Avon red lipstick. There was a sticker in here. Yeah, it's a sticker, but I don't want to show it to you yet because I think that that tells you which bag you're going to get. We'll see. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it is going to be a different bag. Um, okay. That has no correlation. So never mind. Um, I thought it was going to tell you like which thing you got because I got the sticker of the bag that looks like the Balenciaga style bag, but we got the knockoff Louis Vuitton. So it is real fabric. Oh my God, you guys, I have an odd body Furby with legs. I don't know where she is right now, but I feel like this is gonna be great for like my teeny tiny miniature babies or like my Furbies can have purses now. And it's actually like kind of impressive that it comes with little tissue paper to help keep it in shape. Okay, so I feel like I just wanna keep opening them before I look at the checklist. Cause you know, the checklist is just gonna tell me everything that's inside of it. And this is just like so fun and exciting and refreshing that I like kinda don't wanna just like ruin it for myself by knowing, by, by knowing you guys. I need a sippy sippy. Oh, there's my tea all the way over there. Cheers. Sippy sippy. You guys, I thought I was out of focus right now. Am I out of focus? I, these glasses like have glitter infused in the plastic. And so look, I will show you guys what I see. Doesn't that kind of, maybe not. It almost felt like everything I was looking at was like kind of distorted. Anyway. On to the next ball. I feel like I started opening one. Yes, this one. I feel like my brain was not working properly. I was basically just trying to tell you guys I don't like really want to like ruin the surprise for myself. But you guys, now I really, really regret only getting five of these. I wonder if they're sold out because I honestly love these so much more than I thought that I would. I kind of do miss like opening the sections of the mini brand ball like an orange. But I mean, obviously for these really cool like little purses, you couldn't fit that in like a section of an orange without squishing it. So let's open it up and see what we got. I'm gonna open it the other way around this time. We're gonna look at the mini bag first and then the other stuff. What is this? Oh my god, this is so cute! I feel like these would make like a really cute keychains as well. So what is this bucket? I know it's a I know it's a bucket bag. You guys, like this, it the material feels so soft. I mean, obviously it's not like leather or anything. I have a bucket bag like this. That is Burberry. Is that what it's meant to be replicating? Also, Dooney and Burr has a lot of bags like this. So look at that. I mean, I feel like the drawstrings like actually work. Okay, um, let's open up. Oh, gosh dang it. So the sticker, see, this is the Dior. It's gonna be so interesting to see what the little keychain is, but this is the Dior bag I saw. I don't know if that is um, like maybe the ultra rare or something because it's gold. Okay. Did I lose? Oh, there it is. All right. I was like, I know there's supposed to be three little things in here. Okay. So the sticker counts as one of the items. So you get three like makeup or beauty accessories. You get a bag and you get a sticker. And that is the surprises. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at how adorable these are. <laughs> it's like little miniature, like sunglasses. These almost look like Ray-Bans to me. I don't know if the miniature items are meant to be brands of something. I'm trying to find the tiny little baby Shrek. <laughs> Where did he go? Okay, so we have 
Tiny Baby Shrek. Ah, these are like maybe too, maybe too tiny for him. Whoa. Let's see, maybe this will fit a troll. It's hard to get it on his hair, but look, that fits. These are troll accessories. <gasps> How about if we give him a bag? A little too big, <laughs> little too big for him. Okay, anyway, anyway, so <laughs> these are like so fragile. They feel fragile. I feel like you could like break these sunglasses in like one little second, but look at that. We can totally just put our tiny little sunglasses in our handbag. Anyway, um, the next thing we have is, it's just like a tube. I don't know what this is meant to be. Like, um, the packaging looks really similar to Glossier. It also looks kind of like toothpaste. It also could be sunscreen. Um, see, <clears throat> see, that's what I'm saying is like, this would be so cute to like, actually have like, cosmetic branding of some kind on it. And then this, I don't know if it's gonna be like a tiny mirror or a makeup compact, but there we go. Oh my gosh, it is a tiny little, oh, it's supposed to be blush. So we have a little sticker at the bottom that looks kind of um, pink. And then at the top we have a, you know, it's like, it's trying to be like a faux mirror. I mean, obviously can't put glass in these that I feel like would be a mistake. Uh, but it's like a cute reflective sticker. You guys, I messed up so bad by not getting more of these. Are these my new favorite mini brands? Maybe. I feel like I should give you guys the nice peeling sounds. I feel like I like opening the bag first and then the accessories. So uh, that's what I'm gonna keep doing. So here is our bag. Hopefully no repeats today. Oh, what? Okay, I honestly feel like I genuinely have no idea what brand this is trying to replicate, but look at this tiny like clasp. I'm trying to see, hopefully it will stay clasped. You guys, I was like trying to show you guys the action of clasping it. These are just super, super adorable. Like the clasp actually stays closed. Also, there is like a wild side of me that wants to take these apart and use this as like a fabric, like a, like not a fabric, but like a pattern because then you can create your own miniature little bags. If you know how to sew, you can create your own miniature little bags because I swear, like, isn't, it's like, um, what is that brand, Jacquemus, that everybody was like buying these like bags that were like this, but look at that. It's like the inside is like a velvet yellow. So cute. Oh my God. Okay. Let's see what our accessories are. I hope we get like some more like clothing kind of things like the sunglasses. Well, um, okay, our sticker is, oh, this is like a metallic Balenciaga bag. So yeah, I'm, I'm assuming the metallics are like gonna turn out to be, you know, the special ones. We have more treasure troll sunglasses. We have, another repeat compact, you guys. Oh my God. Um, and it looks the same shade as well. And then, what is this? It's like a jar. I guess this is supposed to be like face cream. Oh my gosh. There's like a little bit of face cream in the bottom. These are so, so cute. See, I wonder why they didn't like choose to collab some of these products with brands that they do like the Five Surprise mini brands with because I think they had Pons before or like Vaseline or something. So I feel like they could have done like miniature products like from brands they've worked with before. Two more. Y'all, as soon as I stop recording, I'm gonna try and get more of these from Target. Let's do the bag again first. And gosh dang it. 
Um, we got another repeat. This bag is adorable, but still, you know, no whammies. Although I don't know like how many, there's only 40 to collect in this first collection. So how many like different bag styles are there? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see if the accessories are also going to be repeats. Like does the same set come with the same bag every single time? I would not think so. But who knows? Oh, is this like Chanel? Is that what this is? Ah, we do have the repeat perfume bottle. Although this is freaking adorable. So honestly, kind of don't mind having two. Then, oh my gosh, it is real. This is, these are the most exciting. Oh my God. It is a real tiny makeup brush. This kind of reminds me of the shape of Real Techniques brushes. Don't, don't, doesn't that? I mean, I know makeup brushes, like it's kind of like, you know, a lot of brushes and brush brands look similar, but oh my God, you guys, hopefully y'all can tell the bristles actually exist. So you can actually pretend that you're putting on your little blush. So that was, this one unfortunately was mostly a repeat experience, but honestly, the tiny makeup brush is probably like, is this my favorite mini brand ever of all time? Maybe, I love it, I love it. See, I always knew I would be so excited for makeup related mini brands. Let's open up the last one. I'm sad that this is the last one. But let's see. Gosh, my fingernails are not cooperating. And if you guys hear my stomach growling, it is because I am so hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten lunch yet today, but hey, oh my God, my stomach is so loud. You guys have to hear that. Okay. Woo. Let's see. I don't know why I took my nice little garbage box away that I had sitting under my lap. All right. I hope we get another new bag. What is it? Oh, it does look. Oh my God. Wait. Okay. So is this supposed to be Dooney and Burke or Louis Vuitton? I feel like Louis Vuitton because definitely Louis Vuitton does have these. Oh my God. I'm suddenly realizing that I wonder if that's what Dooney and Burke was like trying to copy. You remember they had these style bags for a while. Um, Oh my God, you guys, these are so well made too. There's a little magnet in there. So it actually closes, which is great. Cause I mean, if you're really gonna keep like your mini brands in here, you're gonna wanna like close them up so that they don't fall out. So that's kind of like this Louis Vuitton one is like kind of the most like reckless one, you know? Okay, um, last little accessories. What did we get? Ah, I think this is all this. Gosh dang. I think this is all the same as the one we just saw. So repeat Chanel sticker, my favorite ever, the makeup brush. Honestly, not mad about a repeat of that one at all. And then we got, isn't this like just a couple of items we pulled out? We got a repeat of the mirror, which that one definitely has to be the most common one I've seen so far. And then we have a repeat of our little cream in a jar. Yeah, that's wild, you guys. The blush compact definitely has to be the most common one, like I'm saying, because out of five mini brand balls, we got four blush compacts. <laughs> I just opened, I just opened the little thing and I am like honestly sad that this is the smallest. I feel like this is the smallest checklist we have ever gotten. So it looks like these are the rare items, the gold Dior bag, the kind of like pink metallic Balenciaga, and there's a Tiffany ring. There's like a Tiffany ring box. Um, and then there are nine I guess normal bags to collect, but you guys, it's so weird because why is this one by itself? I kind of can't even tell what style that one is meant to be. I feel like there's just some designer brands that has like never really appealed to me for whatever reason. So I feel like some of these I don't like obviously recognize. Then this little section down here is the perfumes and makeup. There was also a perfume bottle like this that we 
didn't get it all. The makeup palette we got, um, I think that's nail polish. So we didn't get that. Um, and then honestly, here is the back section, which is some more makeup and these little sunglasses. Are these dogs like characters of something? I don't know. And then, oh, there's like little wallets. That's what the pink and blue things were. I honestly did not know what they are. So they are still in stock on Target. I think I'm gonna go get five more. I hope you guys are gonna be as excited for these as I am. Normally I ask at the end of the video, I'm like, do you guys want me to get more of these? But these, you guys, I am all in. I would love to get more of these. Um, and then that's the other thing that I saw on the back, right, is toy mini brands. They're like telling you about the new mini brands coming out. So there's toy mini brands. And I don't know if we've ever had any of these in the pink wrapper. I think that that's toy mini brands series two. So I need to get some of those also. And we have um, the mini brands series three, which you guys know we have done. And then Disney mini brands, Disney store mini brands. I see the little, um, I know I'm not supposed to call him baby Yoda. I'm gonna call him Baby Yoda anyway. Um, and there's like an Elsa doll. I think that's R2-D2, Iron Man, and I don't know what that is. Maybe Buzz Lightyear or something. So there's gonna be Disney Store mini brands. And I did just look to see if those are out yet. And I, I didn't look on the Disney website, but I looked on Target and they don't have them. So the last interesting thing is, which I would love to know if you guys have ever noticed this before, but mini brands are all different prices, at least at Target. Um, normally mini brands are like $6.99 because I thought $10 per ball seemed a little bit expensive, but these besides the Gold Rush mini brands seem like the most expensive ones that there ever have been. And I honestly can see why, because I feel like, you know, A, to like make the materials with like the little magnets and all kinds of stuff like that to make them look like as real as possible. Plus these feel like honestly like pretty high quality and all the little tiny like parts, you know, like the little fibers in the brush hair. You know, I feel like there was just like a lot of different like materials and stuff um, and pieces that go into making these. So I'm sure that is why they are more expensive. So yeah, let me know all of you guys' thoughts and opinions in the comments down below, which one was your favorite. Also, don't forget, leave me a comment if y'all can help me identify any of these brands that I didn't know what they were today. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below Hello, subscribe, become a member of the Banana Peppers squad today. And uh, until I see you guys again, which is going to be very, very soon, stay happy, stay healthy, stay sassy, stay banana peppery. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. 